Okay, it's the start of a new era. Season premiere of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, we realize we still had seasons of Raw. <laughs> yeah, and why, why in September? Yeah. Surely you should start it the night after WrestleMania. That would make sense. But what do we know? Oh, we kick things off with Rey Mysterio? Hmm. He didn't get very far though, did he? No. He was then met with rather angry, rather unimpressed. Rock. Yes. Oh god. At this point, I was like, you know what? Ray, just leave the ring. Run. You've got the speed advantage. Use it. Yeah. Well, I really wonder, yeah. But he didn't. <laughs> So, he got his ass handed to him by the beast incarnate. And Rock wasn't done then. No, he went out into the crowd. Conveniently, Dominic was in the crowd. And he stood up. I was like, what an idiot. Why are you standing up? The fans were going, sit down, Dominic. Just, just sit down. I know everything will be fine. He ticked Brock off. And Brock then grabbed him, launched him over the barrier. Oh. And Dominic got introduced to Suplex City. And he may have got rammed into the into the turnbuckle pole. He did. <laughs> And then, oh, one thing that annoyed me. You had all the security coming out, breaking it up. Mm. Brock hit Finley. <sighs> How dare Ter- you. Terrible Brock. The man's a legend. You don't hit Finley. He's the man who loves to break up fights. <laughs> and then, like, you had Dominic being taken away on a stretcher. And Ray crying. Mm. And, oh, it's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, let's get our first fight of the night out of the way. We've got the boss. Taking on Alexa Bliss. Yeah, this one I was kind of curious about because you hear reports of these two not liking each other very much in real life. Mm. I was like, is someone going to get a cheap shot in this thing? Or are they going to stay professional? Mm. So I watched this one very closely. How did it go? Yeah, they, they kept pretty professional. Okay. I, I didn't notice anything offhand. <clears throat> a couple of no. the slaps were a bit risque. Mm. But can't. We forgot to mention the glaring obvious thing. This is the go-home show before a pay-per-view. Oh, yeah. The go-home. You know, like, there's no way that they're going to let Alexa win this thing. No. Not the day before a pay-per-view. Or the week before. Hmm. <clears throat> well, Sasha picks up the victory. Yes. Get it up for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, well, well, where were we again? <laughs> yeah, Sasha beat uh, Alexa Bliss. Uh, Sasha. Uh, Alexa tapped out. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> then I think Becky Lynch came out. She did. Bought some trash. Yeah, I do believe that like they got into a bit of a fight and Sasha escaped through the crowd. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did. Right, so more tag team action. Oh next. yes, we got the raw tag team champions in action. Glorious Ziggles. <laughs> They're facing heavy machinery. Smackdown tag team? Yeah, what does that matter anymore, man? 
The SmackDown Tag Champs of Raw wrestlers. Oh, well, th- this will all get sorted out next week. Or the week after. Whenever the draft is. Next week. So, what have we got here? Okay. How did the battle between the in-shape guys and the not-in-shape guys <laughs> go? Well, they can't have the Raw Tag Champions get in bad form. <coughs> Well, one thing I did like, oh, uh, what's his name? Big dude who does the caterpillar. Otis. Yeah, I go. He did it on both of them. Oh. Which was, looked kind of cool. And then they went to do the compactor. Yeah. And I do believe Dolph caught Tucker. Okay. Yeah. With a super kick. And the zigzag. And that was all she wrote. Oh, no, no. Tucky got hit with a glorious move. Oh, that's, that's good. Even better. Then they were. <laughs> Christ, that must have been a huge DDT. Mm. Oh, God. Now, unfortunately, we've got to report the next part. <sighs> Argument of the old farts. <laughs> Train wreck television, this was. Mm. No, we've got... Is... I can't believe I'm having to say this again. Damn it, commentator, we know who the host of Miz TV is. We don't need reminding. Here's the host of Miz TV, The Miz. I'm like, in other words, in other news, water wet. Never would have guessed that otherwise if you hadn't told me. I know. And then we get Team Old Fart coming out. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to look at care homes. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we probably shouldn't. Because <laughs> then we get Ric Flair coming out. God. They messed up his Titatron. Did you notice this? It said 17 time world champion is. Jeez. 16 time. So are they, like, have they found an extra title reign for him? Or did they just mess it up? Oh, I reckon they messed up. Then, of course, complete the old fart argument. We've got Hogan. <laughs> and his manager, the megaphone, Jimmy Hart, the mouth of the South. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Now, how, how do you describe this segment? This was just, this was embarrassing to watch. Well, for reasons unknown, we're getting a match at Crown Jewel out of this. Yeah, Team Hogan versus Team Flair. Mm. And the first people were announced for these teams. Yeah, they randomly selected two people each, mm-hmm. really. Yeah, Hogan's gone with Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. And Rusev. Yeah. Random, but okay. And Flair has gone with his old evolution buddy, Randy Orton. And King Banter Baron. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Rick, you need to get some taste. And, and they were talking to each other, going on about how, how about one more match? No! No! I think the crowd was like, no! <laughs> No one wants to see these two wrestle ever again. No. People not remember a few years back. TNA Ooh. Foley versus Flair. Oh, gross. Rip off AEW's one half of their current commentary. It was bowling shoe ugly. Well, th- this whole thing ended with Randy Orton challenging Seth to a match right now. Huh? Okay. So they cleared the ring. Autumn was all on one going, get this carpet out of the ring. Get it out. They threw all the stuff out. But the match never really got started. No. The Baron interfered. Of course he did. And then Rusev interfered. Mm. Jeez. And I think something was decided for later in the main event. Okay. You bought a tag team matches yet? Yeah, I got room for one more. 
Welcome to game one more. Okay. We got the Viking Raiders facing off against the OC. Haven't they done this one already? Yeah, didn't they do it last week? They did. <laughs> and I think the week before that. <laughs> Right. Viking Raiders got the job done again. Yeah, that's one. I don't like it. And it's got to be said that I do not like the OC's new theme music at all. Yeah. Bring back Omen in the Sky. Mm. So, how exactly did this one finish? Oh, yeah, okay. Gallows got hit with a big splash from the top rope. Oh, nice. How big was it? Uh, pretty big. I, I don't remember. What's the name of the, the fat one? Ivor? With, with the big old beard. I think it's Ivor. You see, I, I used to know these back when they were Hanson and Rowe. But since they've changed them to... Arrogant Ivor. Hmm. Ivor! <laughs> That's the name of Ivor. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. A little bit of classic Little Britain humour there. How for you. did you get a Little Britain joke out of it? I know. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've done that before. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, yeah, not a good night for the good brothers. Yeah. Oh, next we've got our favourite fine Irishman in action, Ricochet. Yes. He's facing the Swiss cyborg. And this all came about because backstage Cesaro was laughing about Rey Mysterio. Oh. Saying how he was glad that Lesnar beat him and his son up. Oh dear. Because if he hadn't, he would have gone out there and beat him up himself. Oh. Okay. And Ricochet was like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't having that. We're going to have a match. Oh. So, yeah. <clears throat> it didn't go on for very long. I think this match lasted about three minutes. <laughs> yeah, although, uh, slightly surprising finish. Ricochet picked up the victory with the West Coast Pop. He did. It was a tribute to Rey Mysterio. Uh, Why exactly he needed a tribute to him? He's not, he's not dead. <laughs> he's not injured. It's for you, Ray. <laughs> he's probably watching from a hospital room. Yeah. <sighs> so, moving on in the action. So, uh, we've seen a recurring theme here. So, uh, are you bored of matches that we've seen quite a few times in recent weeks? Yes. Very bored. Well, too bad. You got another one coming your way. Time for the phenomenal AJ Styles. Okay. And he's facing off against Cedric Alexander. Uh, hold on a minute. They've done this one, what, two or three times over the last month. Yep. And AJ's won every time. And you'd think Cedric would get a victory. No, too bad. <laughs> AJ won this one as well. Oh. So what <laughs> devastating move did he use to finish this one off with? I mean, I know it, but do you know it? <laughs> yeah, then. Stars. It was a good reversal as well, the way he caught him and transitioned into yeah. it. Yeah, because didn't he uh, do like a move off the top rope or whatever? He did, and he yeah. caught him. And it was like for the third or fourth or I don't know how many weeks in a row, but AJ won again. Yeah. Things aren't looking good for Cedric. Mm. Alright, so we got some women action next. Okay. What amazing women's action have we got? Don't get too carried away. Uh, Lacey Evans has been building herself up the last few weeks towards Natalia. Mm -hmm. 
the lasso she's fighting tonight. Oh, it's the rubber match. Yeah. They got one apiece. Yeah. yeah i got to be honest. This one didn't thrill me very much. Mm-mm. It was a little bit boring. Wasn't great. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember a whole lot about this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. She got her with, oh, you're like this. Oh, no. The dreaded roll-up oh. with the tights. With the tights as well. Yeah. That's going a step too far. And I was like, whoa, don't pull those tights too far. We don't want to see that ass. <laughs> To make matters even worse, after Natalia was there going, she cheated, she pulled my tights. Bam! Women's right. So what you're trying to say is, pow, right in the kisser. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and Natalia was left, like she probably was on the morning, on her back. Ooh. Everyone's got to sleep, man. Yeah, 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 okay. So, um... Yeah, so next we have this stupid thing with Randy and King Corbin and Seth. Um, well, no, it was supposed to be a match between Seth and <clears throat> Rusev. Yeah, that's right. And it went on for a little bit until all the interference started happening. Mm-hmm. I don't think we actually got a winner. I think they threw it out. Yeah, yeah, I think they did. Mm. Oh, boy. They're, ha- they're rehashing one of their awful segments they'd love to do. So I think before we get to the penultimate part of it, I think, uh, I think the Fiend made his appearance and took out Seth. No, oh, that, was, that was the last thing that happened. Oh, okay. Right then, let's get the BS out of the way. So, yeah, Rusev was in the ring. You know, they had just fought off Baron and Randy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we didn't, a random limo pulled up, like, just before this match started. Yeah. We didn't know who was in it. I was thinking Vince. Because he's, like, the only one who turns up in a limo. That would have made sense. But no, we had the music we haven't heard in a while. Boring Bob. Oh, boy. And he was bringing someone out. <sighs> Who doesn't love a bit of adultery? Right. Yeah. So, you're telling me that even though these two are always on Instagram and showing how loved up they are. Yep. They're trying to make us believe that Lana's cheating with Lashley. Mm-hmm. To the point where last night they even had Lana in a limo with Boring Bob going to the premiere of SmackDown. Brilliant. And I'm sure didn't they do like a few months ago before Boring Bob disappeared like you know the whole Bobby Lashley with his family and everything yeah that BS <laughs> so, so what does Mrs. Lashley have to say about this oh god let's just say I wouldn't want to go home to his wife Ooh. Bob's in trouble mm-hmm. yeah uh, I had to look away here because this is gross this is horrible this is terrible blatantly a Vince idea which is going to go straight down the toilet. And then Bray Wyatt came out and attacked Seth. Yeah. The Fiend. Oh, indeed. <laughs> he put that manable claw on Seth. Choked him. He's, he's coming for him. And himself. that was how we ended. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Not bad. Not great, though. <coughs> well, I've seen why, I suppose. Yeah. 
So, that was it for the show, and that's it from us. So, from your hosts, the master of the brain damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one. Ah! Ivor! That's the name of Ivor! Is that what Luke called him to say? Oh, my God.